Hello. And this certainly isn't how I uh, envision this or plan this. Uh, but, but I am going to retire. Uh, this is not an easy decision. Uh, honestly, it's the hardest decision of my life. Uh, but it is the right decision for me. Uh, for the last four years or so, I've been in this cycle of injury, pain, rehab, injury, injury pain, rehab. Uh, and it's been unceasing and relenting, unrelenting, both in season both in, and off season. Uh, and I felt stuck in it, and the only way I see out uh, is, is to, to no longer play football. Uh, it's, it's taken my joy of this game away. Uh, and uh, this... Sorry. I've been stuck in this process. I haven't been able to live the life I want to live. Taking the joy out of this game. And after 2016, where I played in pain and was unable to regularly practice, I made a vow to myself that I would not go down that path again. I find myself in a similar situation. And the only way forward for me is to remove myself from football in this cycle that I've been in. Uh, com come to the proverbial fork in the road. Uh, and and I, I made a vow to myself that if I ever did again, I would choose, choose me in a sense. It's very difficult. I love this team. I love my teammates, the folks in our building, the, the fans, the game of football. And, in, and as part of this team, uh, as, a, as a member of this team, and because of how I feel, I know that I am unable to pour my heart and soul into this position. Uh, which would not only sell myself short, but the team in the end as well. Uh, and it's sad, but I also have a lot of clarity in this. Uh, it's been a difficult process, uh, but my wife, my family, my friends, Mr. Ballard, Mr. Ursay, the Ursay family, and Frank Reich have been incredibly helpful, supportive, uh, and I'm so grateful for them. It, as I told the guys earlier in the locker room, it's been the honor of a lifetime to represent the Horseshoe and the city of Indianapolis both on and off the field. To Mr. Ursay and, and, and your family, thank you. Thank you so much. I am so grateful to have been drafted here. Your unwavering support is incredibly appreciated. I cannot fathom another owner who loves their team as much as you do. And that we feel that as players. We appreciate that as players. It permeates through the building. Uh, and from the moment, and, I, and, I, and we talked about this earlier, but from the moment I arrived in Indianapolis, I felt like I could be myself, and I felt like I did not have to fill Peyton, one of the great, you know, of all times. I felt like I did not have to fill his shoes. I could be me. And for that, and I know that starts with the person up top, and for that, I'm very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, so many people to thank. <laughs> uh, so many people to thank. It's, I think, maybe fitting that Chuck was the coordinator <laughs> for the opposing team tonight uh, because he, he had so many positive points and moments and such an impact on my life and B.A. Uh, as well, who's obviously not here tonight, but with Tampa. Uh, all, the, all my former coaches, but it, it, it did feel a little bit full circle walking out there tonight and getting to, being able to give Chuck Pagano a hug, who, uh, who provided so many great memories uh, for me uh, and, and Colts fans everywhere. Uh, former teammates, there's a lot of guys I need to thank that I've played with uh, that I'll get around to personally uh, when the time is right. But I'd like to start with a couple guys that stand out. Robert Mathis, uh, who qu quickly became and will always be my football hero. I love playing with him. I loved watching him play. Uh, he was as good a teammate as I've ever had. Reggie Wayne, what a thrill it was to throw to him. What a thrill it was to throw to you. I thank you for the incredibly positive impact you had on a young player in this league. So many wonderful guys like Joe Wrights, Jack Muhork, uh, so many great linemen that I had a chance to play with. And I was a, I was a part of some amazing quarterback rooms that helped me grow uh, and, and become a man in this game. You know, Clyde Christensen, who ran it for a while with, with Drew Stanton and Chandler Harnish, Shoddy and Scotty Tolzien, uh, especially Matt Hasselbeck. I know 
Matt was a great, great influence on me. I learned so much from all of all of y'all, uh, and so many of y'all are lifelong friends. They are lifelong friends, and, and again, I'm much, much appreciated for that. Uh, so I'm gonna take a moment. I think it's, I guess, fitting that I'm in my retirement press conference in an athletic shirt. I know I look pretty ratty up here after games, so sorry, mom. I can't have a better appearance right now. Uh, there are so many people in the Colts organization that make it run that 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 folks maybe don't know about, but they do an incredible job. Doug, Troy, and the crew, Pete Ward, everybody in the cafeteria, Tex, and the security staff, done an amazing job for me. Everyone in the scouting department on the personnel side, uh, or Todd Vasfari and Matt Turpening picked me and a bunch of other Stanford guys up my rookie year from Indianapolis Airport and took me to uh, Jason's Deli in Carmel for the, my first meal in Indianapolis as a Colt, and uh, it was awesome. The training staff and the medical attention I've received here has been incredible. Bone Doctor, EB, Carrie, Kyle, Marcus, Kev, Wally, all the doctors, uh, the help and care has been top notch, especially in times that are tough, which is usually when you're seeing the doctor or the trainer. Uh, David Thornton, a simple thank you for your compassion. Matt Conti and the PR team. Matt, you have a thankless job wherever you are, and you do a great job at it. Uh, so thankful for you. Our strength staff, Rusty, Rich, Zane, and Podell. Uh, I do feel like I'm missing folks in the building, uh, but so many of you have helped me in so many ways, and I'll, I'll have a chance to come say thank you. And you know who you are. And, and then some folks out of the building, Tom, Willem, Yost, and Karen. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, my wife and I are so proud. When people ask us where we're from, we say Indianapolis. It's our home. The support we felt here from lifelong friends, from the people that we love, the 500. Uh, this has been an incredible place to make a home and to grow uh, and many many of my most fulfilling moments here off the field and involve children uh, Riley camps around the state getting a chance to be with kids and have fun going to the hospital uh, and, and having a chance to talk with parents and, and children uh, reading to kids at schools hanging out Children's Museum, the wonderful things they do there. So a big thank you to the city. It's always will hold a special place in my heart. And I guess I'll transition to this current team and why it makes it so difficult, I guess, for me to stand up here and, and say I'm retired. It's a great group of men. It's a great group of guys. One that a group that makes coming to work every day feel very, very special. And I feel incredibly lucky for that. And, and fans and people need to know about the men in that locker room. They're great. They're honest. They're real. Uh, there's no bigger fan of them than me. Chris Ballard, thank you. You know I have so much respect and admiration for you. I've had a lot of tough conversations. Uh, I've learned so much from him. The honesty. It's incredible. Frank, you're so thoughtful, driven, kind. Again, I've learned so much. So, you know, there were times last year I'd have to pinch myself and say, is this for real? I mean, am I allowed to have this much fun on a football field? And, and it started with you. Uh, Nick Sirianni and Marcus Brady, uh, it's the same. Going to miss being with them every day. They're, they're, they're good people. All the rest of the staff, uh, they, made, they made coming into work a joy uh, and something that, that I certainly, certainly will miss. And... and I don't, you know, coming back last year and playing, uh, a lot of people had a lot of, a lot helped me in a lot of ways, and, and I, they'll, they'll never know how important that was to me, uh, and I'm, again, so, so appreciative. And my teammates, I feel so conflicted because of my love for these men, uh, but, but, it, but it is clear to me that's what's best for this team is, is, is me, it does not involve me. Uh, and there's, I'd like to say a quick note about a few of them uh, as, as we get towards the end here. But 
when I was a seven-year-old, my, my father drove me up to Amsterdam and I watched Adam Vinatieri kick for the Amsterdam Admirals in NFL Europe. Then when I was in seventh grade, my father took me to the Super Bowl in Houston and I watched Adam Vinatieri kick a game winner against the Carolina Panthers. And then, of course, my, fir my first win as a Colt involves Adam Vinatieri kicking a game winner against the Minnesota Vikings. And I, I told him all this earlier today. I stand in awe of Adam Vinatieri. He's a he's a he's a great man, a great teammate, and uh, again, he's one of those guys. I'll, I'll tell my grandkids I got to play with him. Uh, the guys on the O line: Braden, Glow, Ryan, Q, Hagrid, Larave, and Bamer, Josh, and of, of course Anthony. Uh, they were they've been a pleasure to play around, and there's so many more that that I've played with in the past, but. Uh, they they were a big part of last year being very special for me. Obviously, the success of the team, and uh, I'm so grateful and appreciative to have had a guy like Anthony Costanzo be in the building uh, from the day I walked in. Jacoby Brissett is an awesome dude. He's got a bright future. He's diligent, sharp, loves football. Uh, I hope I can continue to support him in different ways. I am so grateful for our friendship. I, uh, on, a, on a personal, well, getting a little more personal, but coming back into the building early last year, I was very jealous and resentful of this fun, happy dude that was in my spot as a quarterback on this team. I obviously didn't have a lot of confidence in myself at that time either, but I could not have been more wrong and he helped me grow in so many ways. He's a lifelong friend. He means so, so much to me. He's a big part of you know, me having one of the more rewarding years of my football life last year. I cannot wait to support him and see him lead this team. I am excited for the future of the Colts in large part because of Jacoby and also all the other men in that, that locker room. You know, there's so many guys on offense and defense that have had a pleasure to play with. Clayton Gathers is I love watching Clayton Gathers run around and play football. All the running backs and Rathy, the tight ends. Eric Ebron was fun to play with. I'm so excited for his future. He's a great friend. Mo, Jack Doyle, Jackie Jack and I have been through a lot together. I'm going to miss him a lot on the football field, but, but we're friends forever. And the rest of the guys, I have so, so, so much respect and love uh, and it runs so deep in me for them, and I, and I hope they feel that because I know so many guys in that locker room have had such a significant impact on my life uh, in, in so many, so many ways. Uh, and lastly, in, in terms of guys on this team, T.Y. Hilton. I had more fun throwing the football to T.Y. Than, than should be allowed probably. Uh, when, I was, when I was away in 2017 for the, for the, latter, half, the latter half of the season, I had to figure out why I wanted to come back and play football. Uh, and I boiled it simply down to the fact that I like throwing the ball to my friends and, and I love throwing the ball to T.Y. Hilton. He's the best football player I've ever played with. And he's a better teammate than he is a football player. Uh, in conclusion, my, my folks who aren't here tonight, but mom, dad, Mayor, Emily, Ad. Uncle Will, all my friends, thank you. And my wife, Nicole, thank you. I love you. <clears throat> and I guess in a philosophical sense, I want to thank football for so many wonderful moments in my life and the pressure, circumstances, environment that pushed me to grow, learn, change in so many meaningful ways. It's the greatest team sport in the world. Uh, and please, if you have questions, I'd like to uh, ask them. Was this planned today to mention retirement? No, I, I'll be honest. I was going to tell my teammates after the game and – uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow was <laughs> the time I was going to talk to you guys. So, so, this is obviously a major. Obviously, I mean, it's yeah. difficult 
How long has it been building? You didn't wake up this morning and say, no, no, I didn't wake up this morning. Uh, a week and a half, two weeks. It's been a little bit fast and furious, and uh, the lack of progress on my ankle. And I'm in pain. I'm still in pain. I've been in this cycle, which feels like. I mean, it's been four years of this injury pain rehab cycle, and for me to move f forward in my life the way I want to, it, it, it doesn't involve football. Well, this, this, this was the tipping point. If not for this, you, you might be having a different conversation. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I, I guess that's the reality. Is I, I have this, and I've had had this, and you know, so I, I don't, I don't know if tipping point, but you know, it's shoulder and the ankle and this and this and it's yeah it's it's I've not been I, I don't feel like I've lived the life you know I can't live the life that I want to live moving forward with this year. Is that first time retirement entered your mind in a serious way? Yeah a couple of weeks ago a week and a half ago. Not even last year? No. How much of an emotional role has all of this taken on you? Yeah, I feel quite exhausted and quite tired. Uh, I, I do know once I hit the sort of point where I felt like I knew what I needed to do for myself and talked to Nicole and, and some, you know, my folks and some close friends and family that, and then had some, you know, some very difficult conversations with, with Mr. Ursay, Frank and Chris, but... Uh, it, it did feel like, in a sense, a weight was lifted then, but but it's <laughs> it's been tiring. I I feel tired, and not just in the physical sense. What, what was the final straw, Andrew? Was it after a workout? What was it? You said, you know what? I'm gonna go home, sleep on this. And I, this. I don't know if there was a final straw per se. Uh, the lack of progress, I think, just built up and run into one. Okay. You know, turn the corner. Okay, well, let's you know, run into another stumble block. Turn the corner. Turn the corner. And you know, I, I can't remember if there was one thing that that you know, tipping point or final straw. But uh, yeah, I, 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 again, I feel I'm so much clarity, and again, so grateful for 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 the for the experiences and the and the uh, the positive times that I have had here. How do you know? Say a year from now, when the ankle's finally healed, you won't want to come back. Yeah, I, I, I can't see the future, <laughs> Zach. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say it, but I, I very clearly in my mind uh, see that 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 I'm that I won't. That I'm, it's not. Yeah. So you say, um, do you know what's going on with the ankle yet? Yeah, it's it's a mere it's a myriad of issues, and I I calf strain, posterior impingement, high ankle sprain. I I. It's part of my journey going forward. We'll be getting <laughs> out of pain and figuring out what's going on and and how to and how to how to how to feel better. Obviously, so there, I don't have any definitiveness in my not mind on it, and we'll continue working on that. It's going to be a you know, quite a timeline to, to deal with that if you continue, continue playing. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not, so it's. You know, it's the, the, right like the, the ribs, the kidney, the shoulder, the ankle, the calf, <coughs> all that over the years mm -hmm. is what led us here today. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. and and I'd like and I'd I, I'd like to say too. This has been my personal journey in football, obviously, and not and everybody's journey is 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 different. And I, uh, I you know, uh, over the past week, I'd sit and think, you know, am I, do I? Am I going to have a bunch of resentment towards this game, or spite towards, you know, coming to this building, or and and I don't. I, I, I all I feel is love for this game and love for my teammates and walking in. And I know I know my journey has had some, you know, some ups and downs, and physically it has taken its toll over the last four years. And that, I mean that is why I'm here, and 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 the and the mental and emotional toll that 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 takes as well. Yeah. But you never could have imagined walking away from football at the age of 29. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I didn't imagine retiring when <laughs> I didn't imagine retiring until two weeks ago. So, I, uh, but no, I, I didn't think of it in that way. No. no. Well, last we, Saturday on the field, what, yeah. what were your emotions coming off? Because you said you didn't think you're not for two yeah. weeks. Did you think then you still were going to play this year? I, 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 I had a good idea that it might. I had thought that this might be my last time throwing on Lucas Oil. Uh, 
you know, in a, in, as, a, as a current member of a Colts team. And it was, uh, I told myself I made sure to go out and enjoy it, you know. You've, all, you've always been one of those people who took the blame on anything, whether it was an interception or whatnot and stuff. Did you ever try to say, all right, maybe I should try to play through this because I don't want to let those guys in the locker room down? That's a, that's a good question. And in 2016, after that season, uh, in which I, which I played through some stuff, uh, I made a vow to myself that I would never do that again. I, uh, I got in a, not a good place. Uh, and, and I, I, f- I felt that the past week and a half, two weeks, and that uh, that's also a big part of why I'm here right now talking about this. You said that you? quite a few times, just yeah. in different mm-hmm. references. And I mean, this game does require you to put yourself second, and oftentimes, right? And I mean, just just you know, having talking with team first and else sort of thing, yeah. which is what you have to do. I mean, just how when you, when you've done all that you've done. Uh, and how did how were you able to reconcile all that? You know, I mean, that's that's a tough uh, tough calculation, I guess, to make sometimes. Did you ever reconcile that right yeah, now no, or no, no, no. Over in the, the past? Years. I mean, over the years, you know. Yeah, I mean, no, I look, I yeah. It's about the team. I got to put myself second, or just you know. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I I never felt like. Uh, I guess in my mind, I never looked at it as me or the team uh, part of the team and, and do my best for the team and also do my best for the self for myself in a sense uh but but it's i mean it, it's the greatest team game in the world i've loved being in that locker room it's it's truly been the honor of a lifetime to to suit up next to many of those guys and that's part of what makes this very 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 difficult all that you've meant to the team in the city and, and the stunningness of the decision. Any reaction to the fans? Did you hear the reaction walk off the field? Yeah, I, I'd be lying if I didn't say I heard the reaction. Yeah, it, it hurt. I'll be honest, Chap. It hurt. Saw with the fact that you did get your your fair chance necessarily in this. I, I, you know what? I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't look. I. I certainly feel like I got my fair chance, and I'm very grateful for every snap that I got to take, and you know the the lows and learn from them, and the highs, and, and all the positive things uh, that happened in this building that I got to be a you know be a part of. So so I I I, 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 I don't hold any resentment, I guess, in that way. I do feel like I got a fair chance, and I tried to make the most of my chance. And 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 right now, my journey just doesn't doesn't include football going forward and I'm uh again so grateful to have uh, I'll feel like a cult forever I I know I will I'm so grateful again for the Ursa family for Frank Chris uh everybody in that locker room that 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 is I've got a chance to you know take the field with it's it's truly been the honor of a lifetime and I understand the the suddenness and maybe the surprise behind it I I, I really do uh but I also know I have so much clarity uh, about about my next steps moving forward, and uh, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm so excited for this team. It's it's a great team. Andrew, so Andrew, Andrew steps going yeah. forward is being a father. How much is that factored into this decision? Yeah, I didn't, not not really. I know. Okay, guys, right. A bit of an unusual situation, but how much do you anticipate? You mentioned how much you love this franchise, how much they mean to you. Being around still. You know the season's about to start. Yeah. What are your plans? Take a full back seat. Or do you plan on being around? I uh, know I'm, I'm friends with so many guys in this locker room, and I mean we live here. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, it's, this is our home. Uh, so support the guys the way I can, and I certainly uh, need to rehab and, 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 and get feeling good. And uh, yeah, I got some folks that I need to call and thank them and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it might be a late night on the phone and with some friends and, and some crying and laughing and some teammates. And uh, I guess before I get off, I should also thank those of you who have covered me for for most of my career, all of my career. Uh, I appreciate getting to come and come to work and talk to you guys, <laughs> gals, every now and then. And uh, yeah, I guess a small part of me will miss you as well. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but but thank you. I. Uh, I very much appreciate it. Mr. Ursay, Chris, Frank, Ursay family. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good night.